What it do, homies? It's your boy, David. I'm back today. It's been a minute since I've done a reaction to, uh, to Halo scene, uh, but I saw this in my home feed. Lincoln Park breaking the habit. OK, Rip Chester. Um, this is a this this is a crazy of a song. Definitely one of the songs I was on repeat when it first came out. because I grew up on some Lincoln Park, honestly, these days. Who did not? But it looks like um, there's a collab between Halo scene and Audra Audra. Audra Miller from First to Eleven. I haven't heard that band, um, but I'm going to get a little taste of, and I don't know if she's a lead singer or anything, but anyways, let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. Here we go. Let's go. There's another thing before we get into this. Now, I do know that they create the whole entire instrumental, right? So no samples, no no chopping up stuff where it needs to do. They recreate it. The, the wonderful thing about recreating uh, things is that um, I'm, I'm imagining, you know, the person who is responsible for arranging this. You know, I've seen other type of YouTubers, people who recreate it all the way down to like the same like waveform, like the same waveform and everything. Um, but the thing about the thing about recreating it is that you know you can achieve kind of like a sound similar to it but if you don't try to get the exact sound what ends up happening is that your own bands or your music personality starts coming out right you still got the melody you still got the likeness of the sound but you know i've heard this song so many times that i kind of you know have the tone of what the sound sound like i'm not hearing the tone but i'm hearing something adjacent to it i'm hearing their version of it so it it already sounds different love that So look, bro, it's it's already a different vibe, bro, because right, because it's female fronted. Yep. Nailed it. The energy and everything. And what's what's interesting is that um I don't know if we're gonna get like the grit, like ah da da da. We might, right? You don't wanna, you know, you you, you wanna grab you wanna gradually release it, right? You you don't wanna hit us with all that destructive power at the beginning. You wanna give us something to look forward to. You know what I mean? But that first it was smooth, right? When's the last time? Cause you know, Chester has that grit to his voice when he's singing. But that was butter smooth, man. That was like the most smoothest. Like if I was ever breaking a habit, I would like to break it as smooth as her singing it, man. You know, get the grit out of there. I want a smooth transition to breaking the habit, bro. That's what we got right there. It's a smooth transition to breaking the habit. Let's go. Oh, and I heard the uh the little modulation or the glitching in the vocals. That was a nice touch. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Strangers. Better wait. 
Don't, don't, don't you, don't, don't start right now. Hold on. I know where we going with this. I don't know where we going with this, but hold on before you, before you start raining the skies down on us, chill out one second, right? I got to talk about uh, Audra, right? That's her name. I got to talk about Audra. Um, I love the cadence of how she's singing. I don't know what uh, it's okay. Why I don't? It's the the last part of it is 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 it, it almost is is sung before it needs to be like the type of stuff you know like non quantized. I love that, right? I feel like especially when I'm hearing singers when they sing something, um, I'm always looking for where the type of changes they're going to put at. And that's why I heard it. But also I heard like a little little like vibrato in there, right? Kind of came in like it was a quick jab, you know what I'm saying? Like a little Mike Tyson jab right there. Kind of came in and kind of shook me up. And I said, oh, wait a minute. What we what, what we doing out here? Audra? Okay, I see you. But it's beautiful because they both got their own type of singing techniques and they've combined. They've combined this to give this some epic stuff. Now, what we got coming up next? Let's go. There it is. Bro, they done. They see. I told you, man. They just put their own. Bro, they done took us. They they done turned. Yo, they done went on a mystical journey, bro. They done hit us with the cinematic vocals and everything. They done broke it all the way down. They said, "Wait a minute." You. They, they said, "Wait a minute, Dave." You was just commenting on how smooth the chorus, you know, the hook song was, but but we got even more butter for you, bro. Right, and this butter. Right. This, this is something that you got to slice yourself throughout the process of listening to it. This is butter that's already melted. It's for, you know, it's, it's, it's ready to eat. We added a little reverb and some atmosphere on it so we can really send you out here. That's what they did, bro. They gave us some atmospheric melted butter to chill on. That was amazing. You guys killed this. Let me see what you got coming on up here next. Hey, everyone. I forgot to film an outro. So here is an <laughs> outro from me in my pajamas. Hey, mood. I'll be forgetting my own outro, bro. So it, it really all depends. You know, if something's going so hard, I feel like it's illegal for me to make an outro. I'll just be sitting there and be like, nah, the, it, it's over. And it's in the video. You know what I mean? But that was an epic performance. Absolutely loved it. Chest will be proud. As a matter of fact, the whole entire chest, you know, chest, will be, chest will be proud. That might even be my tagline in my description because, yo, <laughs> that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.